Music Theory, a complete course from grades 1 to 5. Lesson 49, Intervals, Augmented and Diminished. In Lesson 37, you learned the prefixes major, minor and perfect as applied to intervals. To summarize, fourths, fifths and octaves are perfect, and seconds, thirds, sixths and sevenths are major if they occur in the major scale of the lowest note. Minor intervals are simply a semitone less than major intervals. Note that there is no such thing as a minor fourth or minor fifth. In this lesson, there are two more prefixes as applied to intervals, augmented and diminished. Perfect and major intervals can be augmented, that means they are increased by a semitone, and perfect and minor intervals can be diminished, that is, they can be decreased by a semitone. Let's consider some examples. F to A is a major third because A is the third note of F major, the lowest note. F to A sharp is an augmented third because it has been increased by a semitone. F to A flat is a minor third. It has been decreased by a semitone. And F to A double flat is a diminished third that is, a minor third decreased by yet another semitone. Now, if we consider a perfect interval such as a fourth, F to B flat is a perfect fourth, because B flat is the fourth note of the lowest note, F major. And remember, there is no such thing as a major or minor fourth. Therefore, F to B natural is an augmented fourth, because it has been increased by a semitone, and F to B double flat is a diminished fourth. It has been decreased by a semitone. Many people might find this quite complicated, but if you follow this flow chart, you can't really go wrong. For seconds, thirds, sixths and sevenths, if the upper note is in the major scale of the lower note, it is a major interval. If it is a semitone less, it's a minor interval. If it is a semitone more, it's an augmented interval. And if it's two semitones less, it is diminished. And for fourths, fifths and octaves, if the upper note is in the major scale of the lower note, it is a perfect interval. If it's a semitone less, it's diminished. And if it's a semitone more, it's augmented. The only problem may arise if the lower note is one of which you do not know the major scale. C sharp to A flat, for example, would be a little bit problematic because I'm sure most people don't know the scale of C sharp major. But you do know the scale of C major. Now, C to A is a major sixth because A is the sixth note of C major. So, C sharp to A is a semitone less because the bottom has gone up by a semitone, and so it is a minor sixth. Then, if we lower the upper note by a semitone as well, it would become a diminished sixth because A flat is yet another semitone closer to the C sharp than A natural. Now, let's see how much you have understood. Can you name these two intervals? The first one is a diminished seventh, and the second one an augmented second. For more practice on this topic, click the card on the right, and I'll see you in the next video by clicking the card on the left.